Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we're gonna be installing a bunch of different products into the interior of our fifth gen Foreigner to maximize our storage capacity, organization, and we're also gonna be putting in a secret compartment. So at the end of this month, we're gonna be taking the fifth gen Foreigner down to Utah, where there'll be two people living out of this vehicle for over a week. So I really wanted to look for some products before this trip that will maximize the storage and organization of the interior, but also add a secret hidden compartment for things like our passports and wallet. I spent a good period of time looking online at different options for the interior. It took me a bit of time, but I found a lot of good products, relatively cheap with really good reviews. I will leave links to all the products I'm using in the description below. These products are gonna help us stay organized. It's gonna add a bit of storage space, and we're also gonna add some USB plugs into the interior. Let's jump into the video, and I'll show you all these different products. I'll install them, give you a quick review, and you can see if maybe they'll be a good fit for your vehicle. All right, so I just wanna start off by saying that this drawer box was an absolute game changer for us when it came to camping and overlanding. It made the experience so much better because we know where everything is. Everything is neatly organized and easily accessible. So with that being said, I think what we'll start off with with our install here today is these vehicle organizers by OCD Vehicle. These are made in the United States and they are relatively inexpensive and high quality. They have fantastic reviews. The one for the center console is only $15. This one for the glove compartment is $20. So let's assemble these, get them in the fifth gen foreigner so you can see what they look like and I'll give them a quick little review. So let's start off with the one I wanna do the most, that is the center console organizer. My center console is an absolute disaster. There's just junk stacked on top of junk. There's no way to kind of separate everything and get it neatly organized so I can kind of just reach in and grab the different things that I need instead of digging through stuff. Let's put it together. It looks like it's gonna be pretty simple. Basically what we're gonna do is just take this bottom piece, feed this top piece in there, bottom piece here, and we'll take this piece, and we will just feed it down. That's pretty flush. I'll just kind of push down like this now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Wow, look at all the crap that I've stuffed in the center console. 90% of the stuff I do not use. I just didn't realize it was in there because it was buried under other things. Guys, I think you're gonna love this. This organizer fits perfectly in here and it utilizes these little tabs on these sides in all four corners to basically lock this thing in place. It doesn't have a lot of movement and it fits very nicely. So really impressed with that. Let's load some stuff into it now. All right, so I'm liking the looks of this already. Everything looks much more organized. So really impressed with that center console organizer. Let's get our glove compartment organizer by vehicle OCD together and get it installed and see how it looks. So it will tell you on the back what side goes down, what side goes up, and you can also use the picture on the front to guide you. These two pieces are identical. The one piece will basically slide in the bottom and the other two pieces will slide down the channel and click into place. So just like our center console, we do have kind of a shelf on this one side. I don't think you can really see that on the camera, but we do have a kind of a little bit of a shelf that kind of comes around. So I'm sure it will sit on top of here. We also have a little edge here that it will probably catch into. So let's slide it in. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I heard about this, that it was a little tricky to get it in. There we go. Just kind of bend the bottom a little bit. All right, so that looks really nice. So we have some areas under here we can store stuff. All of our manuals and stuff can go up here. This is where I keep all my maintenance for my vehicle. I recommend getting one of these. It's really good to keep track of what you're doing. Kind of tuck all my receipts in there. So anyways, we'll just slide that in. All right, so I got all those papers up there. And then I also now have a bunch of storage for you know sunglasses, car chargers, uh, battery banks, GoPros. So that works really nicely. So really impressed with that. All right, let's get this product installed here. This is gonna go into our center console. It's gonna give us a place to keep our phone and a couple extra USB plugs here. So let's pop this in now. This will be an easy install. It is gonna plug into our cigarette lighter down here and they have given us something for that to uh, add that extra USB plug. All right, so we'll start off by putting in our cigarette lighter plug, which is gonna give us the extra USB plugs. This is a fast charger QC 3.0. Pop that in there. And we'll add this on. Um, we have our plugs here. If we do want to access the bottom, you can just put this off to the side, take whatever you need, and just pop this right back on top.
All right, let's get this part installed now. This is our hidden compartment. This is gonna go in the armrest on our center console underneath where the Kleenex box would be. It's gonna mount in flush, so it kind of looks like it's just a part of the armrest, but if you push on it, it will pop open. You pull it down and you can store stuff in here and pop it closed. It's kind of discreet. You know, there's nothing to kind of grab onto, so thieves will hopefully not notice it. If they broke into your vehicle, they wouldn't start pressing around looking for a secret compartment. So let's get this in. This one had the best reviews that I could find online, so, and it's still relatively cheap as well. So let's get this installed. So before installing our hidden compartment, we're gonna clean the area off just with some isopropyl alcohol, just in case there's any armor all or anything like that on this plastic that will stop it from adhering. All right, then come in and peel the backing off of all this tape. All right, then slide it down, all the way down, and then push it in. Kind of just gonna rock it back and forth. Perfect. So now that's pretty flush. I think if anybody opened this thing up and went to go look for anything, I don't think they would start pressing to kind of figure out if there's a secret compartment, but if you do press, you can pop your stuff in here. And voila. How long will this last, you know? I don't know, this one had the best reviews online. There's some pretty cheap, crappy ones out there. This one is still cheap, but had the best reviews. Maybe this plastic over time could snap off. You know, I think if you don't use this all the time, this is a great solution. I think I feel more comfortable leaving important documents kind of in here than really anywhere else in the vehicle, you know, say the glove compartment or something like that, so. All right, let's get this installed now. This is gonna give us some extra storage, basically right below our radio for our passenger and our driver. There are different ones on the market. This one seemed to be the best rated, best reviewed, um, and still relatively cheap. The other ones were kind of three piece, so you'd have plastic that would have to slide into plastic, but this is all one unit, and it's gonna basically uh, be secured down with this double-sided tape on each side, so should be a quick, easy install, and it will be nice to just have an extra location down there to store some extra things. So the same concept here, we have some backing tape. This is basically gonna fit down here nice and flush. I'm really impressed actually already with how tight this fits around this plastic. It is like it's perfectly designed for it. All of the uh, edges line up perfectly. Stuff like that I love. I always pay attention to these little details. These things drive me insane, but this does fit very nicely. All right, so what we're gonna do is clean off this plastic here. Let's just give the plastic a wipe there on both sides. Just kind of flex it out a little bit down there. Once we're happy with the alignment, push it in. All right, so to be honest, it actually fits really well up here, but can't seem to get that tape to engage very well down there. I feel like the tape should have been up here because that's where it's mostly contacting. It's not really contacting down low. That's a little disheartening. I will add my own 3M two-sided tape up higher. You can see it's contacting along this upper part. Overall, I am pretty happy with the fitment, just it's not adhering very well on the sides. So that sums up the five installs there on the interior of our 5th Gen 4Runner. All those modifications are relatively cheap and all have great reviews. I hope you guys found them as useful as I did. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. I hope to come up with a lot more videos and I always appreciate your guys' support. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye now.